everyone, I'm Michelle, and I'm here in the Museum of Natural History's Ndugalum Gallery, and I'm with our American toad and wood frogs. American toads and wood frogs are two of our eight native species of frog here in Nova Scotia. You might find them in more woody, damp habitats instead of lakes and ponds like bullfrogs and green frogs. These guys enjoy meals like bugs, worms, spiders, insects, and today we're gonna to give them crickets. Why don't you join us? Come on over. So this gives us a really good chance to really see the physical difference between frogs and toads. So we see our toad here. He has bumpy skin and he's built physically a little bit differently than frogs. So the frogs have the nice smooth skin and frogs are built for leaping, whereas toads are built for hopping. You'll also notice that we have the wood frogs in a terrarium. So unlike our other frog species, bullfrogs and green frogs and some of the other species, wood frogs share more similarities in habitat with toads. So that's why they cohabitate well in a terrarium instead of an aquarium. And now it is time to feed our toad and wood frogs. And today they're going to be getting crickets. And when I put the crickets in, you're gonna notice that they're white. So these crickets are covered in a calcium powder and that calcium powder helps us make sure that all of our reptiles and amphibians are getting some of that extra nutrients that they need. Now, as I bring our crickets in, their attention is going to be on the food and we can take a moment and watch them hunt. As we can see, they get a little bit excited when the food enters the tank. Now, you'll notice some differences with how they take up the crickets. The toad, we can see his tongue coming out, but with the frogs, they jump and they ambush, and they'll actually use their hands to help push that food down their throat. Thanks for joining us everyone at the Wood Frog and Toad Tank. We hope to see you next time.